So now let's see how we can work around with data format inside of Google Sheets. So over here, you can see that uh, I got a list right here. I got some serial number, name, and then product, and then price right here. If I were to click on price, you can see on the formula bar that it just says 100, and you can see that dollar is in the beginning. That is because this is in the dollar format. So this is formatted as currency. So if I were to click on this, you can see that it actually gets formatted even better right here. Similarly, I can go around over here and click on this one right here, and you can see that 0 0.00 is added in just like this. If you want to remove the 0, 0.00, you can select it out all just like that, and then click on the decrease decimal place right here so that it get, gets back to default. Or you can increase the points right here as well. Another thing that you can do is you can add in, let's say, for example, I'm going to add in discount just like this. And let's say I'm going to say 0.4 right here, just like this. So this is not going to be in the currency format, but in percentage format. So I'm going to click on percentage and you can see that it says uh, 0.4, 40% discount. So I'm just going to go around and let's say, for example, say 4% right here. And I'm going to uh, click and drag this data out right here. There you go. There's the four person. And there you go. If I were to add in five or something, this is all in percentage format. And Google Sheets recognizes this as a percentage right here. Similarly, you can go around and then select other formats as well. Let's say, for example, uh, over here, you'll be able to see that there's different sort of formats that you can select. There's like currency, there's like date, time, and so forth, duration, and so forth, and even more format, like more currencies and uh, options, as you can see. So here you can see that uh, I can go around over here. If I were to go around into format, select accounting, you can see that it actually changes out the format. So the dollar is in the beginning now instead of sticking uh, together with the price. So sometimes you want this. So you can go around over here and go for the accounting type of um, a setting right over here. You can go around over here, go for financial type of um, uh, things or like currency and so forth. And by default, the currency is in dollar format, as you can see. So you can go around onto plain text as well. So it is not recognized as uh, anything or automatic if you want to be rec uh, if you want it to automatically decide what it is. So I'm going to go around, let's say this is going to be the accounting format right here so that uh, the price shows like that. And other thing is that you can also display time. Let's say, for example, if I were to do 1200 right here, it says it like that. It just gets formatted just like that. And it has recognized that this is time. So it's 12 p.m. as you can see. So I can go around over here onto the format and then go for time format right here. And you can see that it adds in p.m. onto it just like that. And I can go around over here, date and time, and there you go. There's the date added onto it as well. So I can go around and then add in some date. Let's say, for example, I'm going to say uh, 2021, just like this. And then there you go. There's the date and time added in right here. You can also go around over here. And then you can see that you can change it to just the date format over here. Or you can just change to the time format right here date and time just like this and then even duration as you can see and that is how it actually works like so you can choose the format that you want to work with and that will be applied and the cell is treated that way and that sort of formatting is displayed out and that is how you can work around with data format inside of google sheets so I hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe